10 and 0. Let's capture the pawn. So, only two gambits that will do, as we've mentioned before, prior. And now I'll just start looking to develop pieces and appropriately position pieces. Let's just develop the knight. It's coming through for the knight for a bishop. Well, this thing here. Uh, let's bring the queen up. Not a fan of this type of opening, it's all over the place and I don't believe my tempo is up. I think my tempo is down. Um yeah, positionally it's kind of shocking really. Let's take. So that's why I'm a bit quiet because I'm just waiting to be a two pawns down at least in this um shoddy position. Uh. It's actually saying I'm plus three, but it doesn't, t for me, it doesn't take into account the position on the board at all. And this does not look clever for me. Small piece attacking a higher piece. I feel like I'm scrabbling around trying to get my pieces to start working together. get some pieces off the board then that's going to make me feel a little bit better but they just look feel like they ideally placed even though they his pieces aren't together just because of the way that we ended up castling I think we lost a lot of tempo in terms of then getting to the queen side castling and um, we're disheveled but that is the whole idea behind the gambits yeah maximum I'll take is two which we did in the game and I know that I'm going to be unbalanced because I've taken the second one. So really understanding that gambits do make you lose tempo if you do actually take them. 
and you don't have to you can develop your pieces which to me i think is a little bit better um, so i've got two on one there with a check on his king so i'm gonna take with the check on the king get this queen off the board oh we've lost the rook we've lost the rook so intent on getting rid of it's a piece for a piece relax piece for a piece just relax and chill it's not doing that so we'll attack their bishop I think they got a bit arty there, didn't they? they I'm going to take the bishop. I'm going to get his rook off the board. Oh, the snowball effect came through. Positive effects at last. <laughs> oh, this will be the last one for today, won't it? Let's take this baby off the board. And then we don't. Let's just put an x-ray through and get the knight off the board. It's not saying with one because he does have a bishop and a rook so i'm simplifying as best possible but still they're still in the game it's shame we're plus six at the moment so we must have taken a few pawns let's take this baby off the board let's get his rook off the board i'm not messing about now i'm just cleaning up house there all right so that should be a bit better for us Bishop's coming, putting a check on the king. No, it's not. Let's bring the rook up. Oh, how am I on eight minutes still? Crikey. Um, shall we just move here? This is going to be a slow, slow developing game now. Take this way because then the two linked is that one old bother this one. So that's if it takes, don't have to take. What do you do? No. Dude. Yeah, this was um, a horrible opening, but the key thing I think is um, dealing with gambits um, well understanding what gambits can do to you if you do actually follow the f um, process so this was all disheveled looks like the opponents left the game yeah okay we'll claim victory on that one so I'll just take a look at the analysis just to have a look at the, what damage these gambits do actually take. I mean, my pieces felt like they were all over the place. Let's just take a look right from the start. Okay, so we took one and then took the other. In essence, you don't even have to take that first one if you don't want to, but taking the first one is okay. It's like natural tempo. This one here, you don't need to take that. I mean, you could develop your knight if you wanted to. You could push your pot more. Like I like to push this pawn so that I can get this knight out and I'm more positive in terms of developing pieces. But we captured, it's still showing minus, not, it's neither here nor there really, but it's at least it's not majorly dropped. Developing the knight, attacking the pawn, building the queen, nothing major, it's giving them a bit of a plus. 
and it's back to minus. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Looks like we're panicking for nothing at the moment. Let's continue on. Castled on the queen side, it's minus four now, so that's in in essence that's kind of out and out winning almost, isn't it? Oh, minus nine. It's about this stage where I'm definitely saying, oh, it's all over the shop. I'm trying a sly one, as you can see, moving the bishop, looking for the discovery check on the queen. So trying to get the big gun off. Minus nine. Then we take, we're basically saying, let's get these pieces off the board. Um, doesn't really like the pawn move, but it's not a major thing. Moves the knight, attacking the queen, looking to exchange. Oh, do you know, I'm so happy with this. This is unbelievable. It didn't feel like this in the game at all. And then the snowballs seemed to start building up. So then my confidence obviously was building up at that point. It's like, oh, we eventually found the better position. But I think the computer was saying your position was fine. You didn't need to worry. Excellent. That's brilliant. How to deal with gambits. <laughs> 